a molecular vibration occurs when atoms in a molecule are in periodic motion while the molecule as a whole has constant translational and rotational motion. The frequency of the periodic motion is known as a vibration frequency, and the typical frequencies of molecular vibrations range from less than 1012 to approximately 1014 Hz. In general, a molecule with n atoms has 3 Na Euro 6 normal modes of vibration, but a linear molecule has 3 Na Euro 5 such modes, as rotation about its molecular axis cannot be observed. A diatomic molecule has one normal mode of vibration. The normal modes of vibration of polyatomic molecules are independent of each other but each normal mode will involve simultaneous vibrations of different parts of the molecule such as different chemical bonds. A molecular vibration is excited when the molecule absorbs a quantum of energy, E, corresponding to the vibration's frequency, I one half, according to the relation E equals I one half. A fundamental vibration is excited when one such quantum of energy is absorbed by the molecule in its ground state. When two quanta are absorbed the first overtone is excited, and so on to higher overtones. To a first approximation, the motion in a normal vibration can be described as a kind of simple harmonic motion. In this approximation, the vibrational energy is a quadratic function with respect to the atomic displacements and the first overtone has twice the frequency of the fundamental. In reality, vibrations are anharmonic and the first overtone has a frequency that is slightly lower than twice that of the fundamental. Excitation of the higher overtones involves progressively less and less additional energy and eventually leads to dissociation of the molecule, as the potential energy of the molecule is more like a Morse potential. The vibrational states of a molecule can be probed in a variety of ways. The most direct way is through infrared spectroscopy, as vibrational transitions typically require an amount of energy that corresponds to the infrared region of the spectrum. Raman spectroscopy, which typically uses visible light, can also be used to measure vibration frequencies directly. The two techniques are complementary and comparison between the two can provide useful structural information such as in the case of the rule of mutual exclusion for centrosymmetric molecules. Vibrational excitation can occur in conjunction with electronic excitation, giving vibrational fine structure to electronic transitions, particularly with molecules in the gas state. Simultaneous excitation of a vibration and rotations gives rise to vibration rotation spectra. Vibrational coordinates – The coordinate of a normal vibration is a combination of changes in the positions of atoms in the molecule. When the vibration is excited the coordinate changes sinusoidally with a frequency I one half, the frequency of the vibration. Equals internal coordinates equals – Internal coordinates are of the following types, illustrated with reference to the planar molecule ethylene. Stretching – A change in the length of a bond such as CH or CC, bending, a change in the angle between two bonds, such as the HCH angle in a methylene group, rocking, a change in angle between a group of atoms, such as a methylene group and the rest of the molecule. Wagging, a change in angle between the plane of a group of atoms, such as a methylene group and a plane through the rest of the molecule. Twisting, a change in the angle between the planes of two groups of atoms such as a change in the angle between the two methylene groups. Out of plane, a change in the angle between any one of the CH bonds and the plane defined by the remaining atoms of the ethylene molecule. Another example is in BF3 when the boron atom moves in and out of the plane of the three fluorine atoms. In a rocking, wagging or twisting coordinate the bond lengths within the groups involved do not change. The angles do. Rocking is distinguished from wagging by the fact that the atoms in the group stay in the same plane. In ethan there are 12 internal coordinates, 4 CH stretching, 1 CC stretching, 2 hours CH bending, 2 CH2 rocking, 2 CH2 wagging, 1 twisting. Note that the HCC angles cannot be used as internal coordinates as the angles at each carbon atom cannot all increase at the same time. Vibrations of a methylene group in a molecule For illustration, the atoms in a CH2 group, commonly found in organic compounds, can vibrate in six different ways, symmetric and asymmetric stretching, scissoring, rocking, wagging and twisting as shown here, these figures do not represent the recoil of the C atoms, 
which, though necessarily present to balance the overall movements of the molecule, are much smaller than the movements of the lighter H atoms. Equals symmetry adapted coordinates equals, symmetry adapted coordinates may be created by applying a projection operator to a set of internal coordinates. The projection operator is constructed with the aid of the character table of the molecular point group. For example, the four, unnormalized, CH stretching coordinates of the molecule ethan are given by. Where are the internal coordinates for stretching of each of the four CH bonds? Illustrations of symmetry adapted coordinates for most small molecules can be found in Nakamoto. Equals normal coordinates equals, the normal coordinates, denoted as Q, refer to the positions of atoms away from their equilibrium positions, with respect to a normal mode of vibration. Each normal mode is assigned a single normal coordinate, and so the normal coordinate refers to the progress along that normal mode at any given time. Formally, normal modes are determined by solving a secular determinant, and then the normal coordinates can be expressed as a summation over the Cartesian coordinates. The advantage of working in normal modes is that they diagonalize the matrix governing the molecular vibrations, so each normal mode is an independent molecular vibration associated with its own spectrum of quantum mechanical states. If the molecule possesses symmetries, it will belong to a point group, and the normal modes will transform as an irreducible representation under that group. The normal modes can then be qualitatively determined by applying group theory and projecting the irreducible representation onto the Cartesian coordinates. For example, when this treatment is applied to CO2, it is found that the C equals O stretches are not independent, but rather there is an O equals C equals O symmetric stretch and an O equals C equals O asymmetric stretch, symmetric stretching, the sum of the two CO stretching coordinates. The two CO bond lengths change by the same amount and the carbon atom is stationary. Q equals Q1 plus Q2, asymmetric stretching, the difference of the two CO stretching coordinates. One CO bond length increases while the other decreases. Q equals Q1, Q2, when two or more normal coordinates belong to the same irreducible representation of the molecular point group there is mixing, and the coefficients of the combination cannot be determined a priori. For example, in the linear molecule hydrogen cyanide, HCN, the two stretching vibrations are, principally CH stretching with a little CN stretching. Q1 equals Q1 plus AQ2A.